Who was the first person when you got in the league to bust your ass? <laughs> when you was like, like we you came after that game, like, th- first I got game. most of that. First game. <laughs> first game. I played against Jose Calderon. <laughs> he freaking gave me. Jose it is, Jose Calderon. Always, it is never like you, you think never it's going to be as like somebody like the super. It is never uh, the superstar in the league. It's always Raptors. somebody in Cleveland. Jose Calderon bust my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me 26 and 14. <laughs> Yo, he was fucking celebrating like a motherfucker. I was sick. <laughs> I had six and six that night. I was like, yo, this motherfucker. Yo. <laughs> and I swear to you to this day, and shout out to my man Jose Calderon now, because yeah. he knows I will dog. <laughs> every time you see every, him. Every, 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 <laughs> I, we we play against play Toronto right that next year. That's when I hit that game winner. Yeah, I, I remember that. I, was, I was like, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all motherfuckers playing time, with me. Yo. <laughs> I'm, every time I see you when he was in New York, I was like, yo, I'm funny. Yo. You know, every time I see him, straight up. It was personal every time after that. First, I remember the first game playing Cleveland. <laughs> oh, first time coming back. You know, I, I set a screen on somebody and I slipped. I, don't, I ain't going to say no names. Somebody had the ball, and they could have threw it, like, right here for the layup. But he, he threw me a little lob pass. It's on some hang time. <laughs> so it took four seconds hey. to get there. And I, as soon as I catch it, somebody, mm. <laughs> yeah, This is and, and look, and now he's going back and blaming this on me. He's talking if you about me. If you, you watched LeBron the clip, came he had a out, chance out to bang on Bron right there the first play. Like, right. yo, show, show him what's up. He came out thinking it was about Back to be today, sweet. Like, <laughs> thinking, like, thinking, like, this is high school, like, <laughs> Bron not about to chase my shit like like, like he, he see the like play. give me that. <laughs> like, he ain't see the like, play in the he blaming me like I'm like yo got <laughs> this got through the ball like to the ceiling. I lobbed it. Hey, Q, he could have caught it. D miles, he could have caught it. Six nine, he wanted to six ten. <laughs> yeah. Six, <laughs> yeah, like he, he, he laid it up. Bron was like, give me that shit. When he bumped all into him and was ready, <laughs> got him. Oh, look at the young boy. Young boy got look at Hey. Ooh, uh, first person that got me, Nick Van Exel, in practice. Yeah, <laughs> Nick the Quick was getting me in practice. And, um, you know, he kept saying, you reach, I teach, you reach, I teach. And he was hitting me with that little bop stuff and uh, drove me crazy. Yeah. My, my first you know, my first time getting out there and playing, Nick Nick went at me pretty hard. He was hard. aggressive, aggressive. Yeah, like, yeah. I got a chance to play with him in Portland and – just his IQ and skill level, the score was like yeah. next he was, level. He was cracking. He had those big hands and big he could hands. shoot. He could pound them up. You know, it took me about a good week to figure out he couldn't go right, and then I had to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people bust my ass, but I take pride in playing. Set 19 years, only being dunked on three times. So the first person to dunk on me was Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drop step with the left hand. Yeah. Like a lot of people bust my ass. Ewan bust my ass. Uh, Robinson bust my ass. Akeem bust my ass. Like all the big guys bust my ass. And then a couple sorry guys bust my ass. Like I couldn't stop Big Country for some reason. Big Brian Country. Reeves. I couldn't stop him at all. I don't know what it was. He used to, he used to eat my ass up yeah, every game. Hands, yeah. Every game. Him and who and Michael Doliak. You remember Doliak? Doliak. Yeah, yeah. Doliak. I remember, I remember the first time when uh, we came back. From LA to play in Orlando, Doliak hit me for like twenty five. Mm. So, but the first person to dunk on me was Derek Coleman. Second person, Tim Perry, got me baseline. Wow! And then uh, Philly, yeah, and then uh, Michael Jordan. See, I've been, I got about thirty dunk buys. And I got about seven, like not paying attention, tip dunks, yeah. but dunk on chest to chest, balls to balls. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> Only got uh, <laughs> a one, or one, one or two of them. And I take pride in that. So come, you know, they got good in a hurry. Yeah. You know, but man, that again, you just think about the guys you could have played with. Yeah. It's been crazy. When you first got to the league, who was the first person to bust your ass? Dr. J. Doc is just. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, so when I first played against Doc, man, I said, man, I grew up wanting to be Doc. like you. I'm in awe because that's yeah. the doctor, you know. Yeah. And he had like 30-something against me, man. I wasn't upset. <laughs> that's, that's the doc. The doc. That's the doc. You know, I'm going to get 30 on you. What he was doing? What he was doing? You know, I had a good game against him, but I was I was proud to be on the floor with the doc. But Playing you know, against after the doc. I got over the odd, I was like, okay, now, okay. After you know, that, we, every we, time you seen yeah, it, it yeah, was on. It was on, <laughs> you know. And we had great games against one another, but I have a lot of respect for doc. But, but my first eight games, man, it's like I played against eight Hall of Famers. Mm. And 
back then, you had to guard each other. Yes, ain't no did. ducking, ain't no hiding. Yeah, you know, because my friend got Larry at six ten, Bernard King. I got Larry Nance at six eleven. I got Doctor J. I Us. got Mark Aguirre, Ooh. Marcus Johnson. Hey, big draw, shot you know, down. I mean, and all these guys getting over twenty five. And they yeah. bucket gives us. Yeah, you t- know. T- tell tell yeah. me about tell me about the first time you played Bird, and how <laughs> how how that rivalry began. I mean, Bird's funny. Bird's funny. <laughs> so you know, again, I mean, we're in the Boston Garden. I'm in awe because this, you know, the banner. This is you know, mystique of the Boston Garden. And I remember the first, I mean, we was at the jump circle, and I go shake Larry Bird's hand. He put both hands behind his back, you know, like. I'm like, you know what, maybe he's just getting into the game, you know. I, <laughs> and I'm trying to give the benefit down. The first play of the game, I'm gone. And he said, I don't know where they got you guarding me, Holmes. And he shoots <laughs> a three. And I wasn't mad he made the three. I thought, this son bitch just called me Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I was so mad. So I'm coming down the left side and I go up in a fast break and he comes out to and I got I'm pumping it behind my head and, and he jumps. I said, I got him. <laughs> Boom. And he's sitting down on the ground. I'm pointing like this. He said, Hey Rook. I'm like, what? He said, I like you. You got balls, but I'm still getting 40 on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> What, what yeah, was about thirty eight? So I had to pay my dues. It was you know it was what no big was deal because you played them over the years. Like what was it about Bird that was so special? Because these guys see Luca and they be like, man, he's man, not the fastest. He man, don't jump the man, highest. Man, listen, I hate when they compare people to Larry. Yeah, Larry was he was a phenomenon. I ain't never seen anybody like him. That not super athletic. But he beat you in so many so smart. ways. Yeah. So I remember Kevin McHale got fifty six. I forget who it was. And Larry said, "I'm gonna break your record against Atlanta." Public. He said it publicly. I'm like, <laughs> oh I'm like, shit. shit, no, no, not against us. Yeah. Crazy. He had sixty the next night. Damn. And he was so hot he was shooting threes with his left. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> And that was a game that everybody was just jumping off. Yeah, he our bench something. was celebrating, <laughs> you know. And they didn't even talk about 40-something I had. They said, he had 60, bro. You know? yeah. <laughs> so I remember go back to Atlanta and said, I'm going to return the favor. And yeah. I, I tried to get 60. I had number 54 that game. But <laughs> but um, he was he was something else, man. And he's he, like, hey, 6'10". I mean, great passer, great rebounder, unbelievable score. And just just super smart basketball, but he had a heart of a he had a heart of a lion, man. Mm, yeah. And so when I hear people compare it to him, I, I laugh. I'm like, yeah, okay, you know. So from that yeah. one first jump ball where he went behind the back and said, "No five, y'all never ever shook up again." Never for the rest shook of your career. But we had the but the thing is that we had the utmost respect, the most respect for each other. You know, because he oftentimes you know say great things about me, and I and you don't know that he feel that way because we were competitors. Mm-hmm. We can let and, uh, each yeah, other have but, but you know what? We never, after that one one moment, we never talked trash to each other. Mm. Never. He had them. I mean, that's the respect we had. Now, some guys, he would say, look, this next play, when we come out, I'm going to win the game on this spot, and I'm going to bust you right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> right? And he come out, that spot, shoot, game Damn. over. Mm. Uh, Cole, he was a buck 90, so Cole right. was the first one in preseason. It, I ain't, it didn't really count because yeah, it's preseason. With, Cole went into preseason, it was at the forum too, so it was at like the it's iconic special, arena. Special. <laughs> yeah, uh, Stack Jack got thrown out at halftime of the preseason game, so <laughs> <laughs> so I had to come back for some reason. I got switched on him, and uh, so he just bust my ass in one possession, so he like. There's a switch. He walked me down to the post, called for the ball. But I'm trying to do, like, the three-quarter situation, like, <laughs> make it look good for film and all that. And he, like, grabbed my knee and did the whole thing where he wasn't going to let me move. And I'm, like, trying to get away, trying to get away. I'm yelling at the ref, thinking he's going to call an offensive foul on him. Don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, he got the ball, one quick shoulder to the chest, threw me, like, five feet back, turned Babe. around, jumper. That was a wrap. Then the second dude was Brandon Jennings. 
Brandon okay. James. Brandon James okay. had, a, he had a double nickel against us. My oh, that was, that was, that was okay. John. I remember oh, that. I remember, I remember that. that. <laughs> I remember that. that. Was, he was going Man, through everybody one. Everybody remember that game. Everybody <laughs> that was That was, look, that was like, like, we hey, talked what, about that. Or eighth or ninth game in the league. Yeah. 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 It was, yeah, it was the first East Coast road trip. He had 55 early in the game. He started he out dro- He dropped right? me. But he dropped me early in the game, like the second quarter. We were trying to blitz him, and he, like, came off with the screen on the left side. There's a film of it, too. Hit me with a quick little bop, know, bop. left, right cross down to the middle, and I just sat down. BJ don't get the proper it. respect. Uh, like, boy, that, boy was a, was, that boy was a bad boy. He was out here killing fools, and he was like, you know, he kind of started that whole – I go overseas before I he go did. through this, and he like did. and then prospered and came back and was still a lottery pick. So he kind of he kind of set the trend we, for that. For we got a lot of common. Seen. I got a lot of common with him. Obviously, same draft class, but uh, he was Under Armour's first signature shoe athlete. Yeah. So like, he had six, a couple, six yeah. Pairs so too. I remember just like you know seeing what they was putting out and all that, and like five years later, right? Uh, I was I was on the squad, so it's kind of crazy and all that. Shout out BJ, man. Yes, sir. Highest level to go. Uh, man, my first game was uh, against uh, Melo, you know, in AI. But I had to guard Melo, and he was what I was eight, nineteen. He was this, probably what twenty four. This Denver, twenty three. Yeah, okay. and you know, yeah, and I never played that Denver altitude. I didn't really know too much about. And oh, Melo just physical, you know. He just. Was, He'll duck you in in the paint, hit you with the shoulder, and then he'll take you out, jab, jab, pull over top of you. So you can't, you want to be physical, but you don't. Like, he just had you thinking too much on D. And he, and I was just, I went, we had a back to back that night. I just, I got on the plane confused. <laughs> it all led to me. Um, BD. Brandon. BD. Boom. Dizzle. BD used to tear me up, bro. He was so nice. His handle, he had a crazy the handle. Bob. The Diddy Bob. The Diddy Bob. He had a tray ball. Strong. He, strong, athletic, and he was a dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know another dog when you sense one. When you see nice. one, I rolled up to him and saw he a dog. Yeah. BD was the first one. And then, I, bro, it was crazy because I remember, like, my my rookie year, we wound up making the playoffs, like, last minute, right? Like, we was, um, we was like, going into the last game. We was like, we got to win this game to get AC. But somebody else won, somebody else lost, somebody else lost, and whatever. We end up getting fourth seed. Yeah. So we in the <laughs> locker room celebrating, like, yeah, baby, you know, we getting the extra money. Fourth seed, we got home right. court. And like, who we play? Charlotte. I had to go into a dark place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I got to guard BD. For, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seven games? I was sick, went to a dark place. I went into a dark place, though. I'm a rookie, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, this is my first playoff experience. I got to go against my, the person I hate guarding the most. So BD used to tear me down. Um, and also, like, I, I didn't like guarding Ray Allen and those guys, like Ray and Rip, because I didn't know how to chase screens. Chase screens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know to get on the outside, the outside, outside show. shoulder. Even though I, wait, I knew, because Coach Green taught us, but it you just know. stay disciplined. <laughs> it stay disciplined. They be tearing you up on them screens, At least boy. you got taught, bro. <laughs> like, I came from playing zone defense, bro. Oh, yeah. I was out there lost. And then, you know, I was playing the four. Then went from the four to the <laughs> two. two. And had to deal with Reggie, mm. Ray, That's what I'm saying. Reggie was scratching like, and calling and throwing you. You first got to the league, who was the first person to bust your ass? Um, I can't say nobody bust my ass. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Allen Houston gave me the business. I mean, he really Ooh. bust my ass, but Allen Houston, he, he was, you know, I, I couldn't figure him out at first. That jumper. Um, Cause he had a smooth ass jumper and his pace was just, you know, at his own pace. Um, so I, I'll say Allen Houston kind of gave me the business, but nothing too crazy. Not not no forty or fifty piece, but <laughs> it was it was a tough cover in the beginning. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, first got to the league. First person to bust my ass was Joe Johnson. Oh, Joe I Johnson Joe. pre preseason. And preseason, and, and, and it was this Boston it was, Celtics or Phoenix? No, Suns? this Phoenix Suns. Okay, this got Phoenix ask. Suns. I'm with, quick, I'm with the Clips it. and. I'm, I'm upset because I didn't know who he was. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like Steve Nash, you was on that squad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was the, that was when Joe was going crazy yeah. too. Because he yeah. was sleeping, going so, crazy yeah, before absolutely. that. But like he got 
thrust into the spotlight that yeah, year. Absolutely. And I just, I, I didn't, I had to go back home, do my homework. You know, really, that's when I, I'm like, man, am I ready for the league? But Joe Johnson was was that guy for yeah, me. Joe, yeah, ISO Joe, Joe, he got a lot of guys. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Who was the first person to bust your ass? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the first person to welcome me to the league, as I call it, uh, uh, to bust my ass was Big Dog. Ooh, Glenn Ruff, that high Glenn art. Ruff. Yeah, that yeah. high, high art. So he's, he's straight off coming off getting 89. I don't know if y'all remember Big Dog asked for 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah told him, I'm, and I'm yeah. worth it. And I'm worth it. And all the old heads got crazy. <laughs> Scotty, Mike, everybody. Made everybody go in the uproar. They ain't getting so, rookie of the year for that. They penalized Right, that's he what I'm saying. It. But he was killed. He was, a lot of people didn't know that Big Dog played uh, four and five in high school, but had really two and three skills. Like, he should have been a... He should have been a three, but he, he slashed. I, I didn't have any problems with no lid or none of that conversation when it came to uh, trash talk and all that, so I was used to whatever. I had just seen him in IT that summer, so I watched him. You know, we get to the league and- Chicago uh, Pro-Am. Yeah, we're in, yeah, my bad. Chicago Pro-Am called INT. It's like the it of the it. If you got some game, you bring your ass in there and you either gonna get booed or they gonna cheer for you. And ain't yeah. no middle ground. And there's straight killers in there. At all. Everybody with their guys, everybody in here. <laughs> it's GD, Souls, Bees, yeah. Lords, it's everything oh, in here. So they ain't no lotta. running from nothing. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, you gotta go down there. If you if you in the city and you live down here, if you in the city, you gotta come down here. So I had just seen him, you know. We get into uh, you know, you know, preseason. We gotta meet in one of these little towns like I think it was either Iowa or something like Billings, yeah, Montana or something. You know, you, yeah, don't Midwest. To give him some plug. And he was like, yeah, welcome young fella. Man, man, he was just talking that shit. And <laughs> you know, I had never I had never chased a nigga off screen. So mm -hmm. I played the three. So I'm coming off screens, getting hit, and he ain't putting it down. Boom, he going up. So I was, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this gonna be every night. This gonna be every time you see me. <laughs> well, he was talking like that. Beside, beside dog. And dog ain't no, you know, but he was on some like, yeah, yeah, young fella like this every time I see you. I said, I'm with it. I'm cool. All right, cool. You you got this one. <laughs> Speed up. We get to like maybe two months in it. You know, I got like 20 some games under me yeah. now. Yeah, I, I was knowing how to get through that. I was getting my hand. And then slowly but surely, you can see me kind of like not walk him down, but you will see like I start to understand his game mm -hmm. versus not knowing anything. But yeah, shout the big dog, man, because you know, he without that man, he, he, he pushed me to be better. Yeah, Real we, talk. We sat out with him. He one of the ones, one of my favorite all yeah. time. It, you know, you know, you like you go around the league. You're gonna get, you're gonna get it sometimes, yeah, right? Of course. I, but I remember one time we played Sacramento, and Mitch Richmond was heating up. Oh, Lord. and they, and I remember Danny was like, "Go, Rook, go in there and just get up in him." Like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not obviously. I'm not known for my defense, but when I was a young player, I could guard, I, I guard a little more because I wasn't like burdened with the offensive stuff. So they're like, you get in there and just make it difficult on him. Make him a post triple double, but on the perimeter, get in him. So like it was, you know, like they were, he legit was like, I think he might be, you could throw him off his rhythm. Which most people listen to this now would be like, what? But, uh, <laughs> but like that at the time, you know, that was how I got minutes in a sense. And so threw me out there. He just kind of got hot and he cooked me. And uh, I just remember feeling so helpless. Like, I couldn't, do. like I couldn't, like, I couldn't help, I, because he was just brushing me off and like- Shoot right over you. Like, but like no rim, you know what I mean? It was just <laughs> yeah. like bottoms, cash. bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. Every time I was like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Like, Why me? Why you know what now? I mean? like, it's embarrassing. Like every, you, uh, not, the ball's not touching the rim. Like every time down, I'm like, what is happening? So I'm first person to bust my ass. When I first got to the NBA, yeah, Kevin Garnett, ninety nine, two thousand ticket, Garnett. Yeah, it, it, it was because I, I, he was like the player I, at that time uh, that I looked up to the most. Yeah. Growing up, it was Magic Johnson, right? But at that time, it was it was KG. My fucker was so intense. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Straight he was up. big. Yeah, he was real big. It's like if you ain't have no heart. His intensity could is like could be Great. a form of intimidation. You know what I mean? But you know, I was still trying to do my thing, go at him. But he was the first person. Was like, damn, I couldn't. It's hard to like and that was when stop he, him and Dirk too. Dirk, yeah, nasty. Dirk was nasty. Dirk busted a lot of dudes' ass. Not a, not a lot of dribbles. Yeah, nah. 
<laughs> straight <laughs> work. Both of them got that that high point released. It's tough to deal yeah, with. Yeah, they like seven one. Yeah, <laughs> well, both for footers. I do remember that the first couple games that I had actually got in the game and got some decent minutes. It was against Allen Houston and Big Dog. Oh, um, shit. And <laughs> he's too old. Yeah. It was just like, you know, obviously he came off screens, you know, not fast at all. Just, right. Getting this know, shit off. Yeah, just working you to sleep, you know what I'm saying? And then Big Dog was yeah, the same heart. thing, just <laughs> super slow, patient, you know what I mean? You think you just got him, you know, in the palm of your hands, but just was just ahead of the game. and Mid-range you know, like a layup. He ain't even missing them. Listen, as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as he released it, whap. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So dog. those are two guys that I recall, like when I first got in the league, like yeah. and going against those guys, how easy it was for them to score, and they wasn't even working that hard. You got to the league, who bust your ass? Like, <sighs> gave you work where you was like, this is Ooh. the league. Reggie Miller. Oh. <laughs> You was chasing them off the screen? Them Davis boys fuck me up. <laughs> they got me bad, dog. That's man. the worst type of dude as a young boy. Man, I was 18 years old. First first of all, I played the whole preseason. I was down there starting, me and BD in New Orleans, kick, cooking. I was like 16, 17. Then I ain't played the first two and a half months. They had David <laughs> Wesley, <laughs> George Lynch. Welcome to the league. Yeah, right. I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right, I'm cool. I'm about to you know, season about to start. I'm about to get some fun. It's about to be about to be on. Then play the first two and a half months. I was over there miserable. They traded David Wesley like right before All-Star break or something. And the first game I had Reggie. Dog, mm -hmm. he, went, he went for like 36, 37. Ooh. All trades, though. <laughs> And, all and, 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 and all running this way, slinging you oh, the other yeah. way. Everything. And, 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 and I couldn't touch him. You know how it was. Yeah. He started he stopping there, he you. Got you. Yeah. And then I'm running into the Davis boy. They over there setting them big ass screens. I'm like, man, before you before you can even get out there, you might as well just go the other way. That's joint. But did did he talk bad to you? Was he was he young fella in you? Was he Nah, was he, he ain't talk bad to me. Oh, okay, so you got the mild man and you just yeah. got a thirty piece. Yeah, I got a, it was it was so quiet though. <laughs> It was a, it was the quietest thirty piece I've ever got, dog. It was just straight buckets. Like I don't even ain't no boy. Well, you better come check me. No none of that. He's like, man, this is last year too. So I think he was. He oh, might so have been he wasn't talking no noise or nothing. Nah. He was just straight to the crowd. Straight to it. <laughs> straight to it. First person to bust my ass would have to be Gilbert Arenas. Cool. Yeah. And no zero. Yeah. Yeah. And he's and he actually told me before the game too he was gonna bust my ass. He was like <laughs> he was like yo young fella it don't even matter tonight. It was my rookie year too. And Sound about right, like yeah, you. yeah, man. I had to see him like three times that year, and he he, and he, he just, just every went, time, every time. This was when he was in the swerve. Mm -hmm. Hibachi, this yep. was Hibachi. Hibachi, Hibachi for sure. Yeah, Hibachi for sure. So you, I remember you guys. Ginobili, um, Jamal Crawford, Lou Williams. So we'll start with Ginobili. Ginobili, you know, you watched him play. You know, back in the day, he'd be talking. First of all, he'd be speaking. You know. In a different language, yeah. A lot of the time, <laughs> probably talking like I'm, I'm. He can't mess with me, type stuff. Yes. <laughs> but they call like angle, like angle, angle and flat, like in the quarter. So yeah. you know, we call angle. He dribbles to half court, like turns his back to me. First of all, I was like, mad disrespectful. <laughs> Turn your back to me, but whatever. Turns his back, comes at me full speed, euro layup. That's what he do. Next play, euro layup and one. And then he sent me with a step back. It was like seven, nine. He, he scored about damn near ten in a row on me. Mm. Which was like wow, I didn't play. I mean, basically, I was coming out. Coach, coach was like, yo, yeah, you old. <laughs> like he do this to everybody. Yeah, you, yeah, you old with blue, same thing, you know. But he was just drawing fouls, so couldn't touch him. You know, you young in the league, they talking about ball pressure, ball pressure. Yeah, so I'm that. trying to hand check. Ah, yeah, you ah, putting it on your arm. All of that. So it was it was wild. And then Jamal just you know bop 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 pull up, bop 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 to the cup, behind behind Hezzy. So I, I took my I took my my wounds and then went back to the lab. Good luck. I mean, the first, the, yeah, the, man. The first game, <laughs> the first game I played against um, the King Lodge one. And um, oh, he nah. was the, uh, yeah, he was the, uh, I think he was the reigning, I think he was the reigning MVP or, or just a bit something, I don't know. But he had 33 in the game. It's funny because I watched the game the other day. And uh, he had 33. And I was just looking how cold he was, man. You know, he the first big man with a crossover. Jamal Mashburn 
took that, but Jamal like Masbury was 6'8". You know what right. I mean? A king yeah. got you at the top, and he would do this, you wouldn't know what to do. So <laughs> I remember I remember after the game, though, being like, that jump hook, I'm taking that. I'm taking it. I'm I'm taking it forever. But, yeah, he bust my ass. I couldn't hey, do nothing. Hey, nothing hey, time out, time. It, it, that, I love that you just said that you took that jump hook from that game right there, from the first time when old of the dream, prime dream, Hakeem Olajuwon, he was the first person to bust. So it's ironic that you say you he did that hook to you, and that's what you got from it. Because D Miles, first person to bust his ass ever, was you, and you <laughs> did exactly that, and you jump hooked him to death. This is the first time for us to have somebody on the show 30, who is the victim. Thirty six. D Miles is the jump victim. Hook. I tried to bump you. You, <laughs> you. you posted me up. I tried to bump you. You would bump me and knock me off my rhythm. So now I couldn't jump. Then the next time down, I tried to not let you put your body on me and then try to jump as high as I can. I tell everybody, I was like, man, that's 36. And this ain't like it was just all jump hooks. Like you just jump hooking my ass to <laughs> death. <laughs> I, you, Stromar, Swift, a bunch of bunch of y'all young power forward could play three that came in the league. I tried to go at y'all because I knew y'all was next, man. Like. I knew y'all could jump, y'all were quick, y'all were doing other stuff. And I was like, well, they can't block a jump hook. I don't care what nobody say. Don't let me get my feet together. You can't, yeah, so I, I, I was trying to shit. <laughs> But Gary Payton, Ooh. Gary Payton, Uncle it, was, uh, it was seven minutes, seven, eight minutes of a ass whooping he was giving me. It was just one of those things where he had, what, 17? <laughs> All on me in that first five minutes. Like, it was the first time in my career, like, the first, in like, especially early career, you know, when you early, you, you dominate Is high school, college. Shit? No, no, he wasn't saying nothing. That was a problem. <laughs> that was, that was, was a problem. Scary, he, was just scoring. he was just scoring. So it was like, I got subbed out. I ran off the course so damn fast. <laughs> Woo! Man, oh, that motherfucker nice. Like, I'm, like, it was one of those things I was like, I don't, I don't think I want to go in with he in. And then he got subbed out and some, Weber came in. I don't know who he is, but I can I, I can go against him. Yeah. Coach, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those. At halftime, like when uh, when I got back in, he was like, you lucky I ain't the AI type of I would have scored 50 against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you right. You right. I ain't going to lie. Was, <laughs> you hey, what was, are you, he was posting you up? Everything. Like, it was like, drive, like driving, roll. posting. We Pull switch, up. yeah, we a switch. He got the big man on him. He posts him up. That's when I knew <laughs> I was in trouble. Like he got Eric, like Eric Dampier switched on him. He backed, backed him up, spent, faked it. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it's not ooh, just me. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this ain't, this ain't the NBA I'm ready for. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's something you ain't gonna never forget. For me, it was Grand Hill. Ooh. I was like, oh man, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I Detroit swear I Piston. tell these Troy Piston Grand Hill. The teal jerseys. Oh man, no, listen, dog. I swear on everything I love, the last five minutes of the game, <laughs> he came down, he either scored, I fouled him, or he got an assist for somebody to score. And it was just like, I felt like I lost the game. <laughs> I think he had like 38, 15 assists, 12 rebounds, and I'm in the locker room like. He felt defeated. I felt defeated. I just wanted to cry. Wait, so had anybody ever like hit this. you with a triple double I, though? That was that was a triple that, that, double. That's what I'm that saying. was the first person I felt. <laughs> and you know the crazy thing about this, Grant Hill was the player who I idolized. Yeah. I, when I was in high school, I'm looking at Duke. I'm like, oh him, Steve Smith from Michigan State. I'm trying to pattern Smitty. my game yeah. after them. And so I'm ready for this. I'm like, oh, you know, when idols become rivals. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm yeah. So I'm ready for. I'm ready to D up, and I'm like. This shit, oh, this ain't it right here. I need to get back in the lab, straight up. <laughs> what What was it about, was it the speed or his Man, dribble? Man, it was like, just like, what? I knew, you know how you look at the scout report, you know he gonna come with the cross. Yeah. You know he ain't, had, he ain't really had that three point range. Mm -hmm. So you could kind of back off of him, but he's sometimes gonna get by you Amen. every first time he has that crazy. first step. And if you don't give him that body, if you don't, he gonna take off on you. You know what I'm saying? That was that was that about. was that version of G here when he so was. So he was like LeBron before LeBron. Yeah. Like he had the whole package. Those yeah. Teams, point forward, athletic, had dimes. He had that yeah. unselfish mentality, but could still give you thirty. Yeah. yeah. Rebounded at a high but level, and my, I was like, my coach. man, um, my first, I was always a pretty good defender. Yeah. 
I came in, I was a really good defender, and I, I was locking a few people up. But, like, Jerry Stackhouse early was tough. Grant Hill. Um, Vashawn Leonard. You know Vashawn Leonard? Vashawn Leonard was Sean the first Leonard. person yeah. to bust my he, That's crazy, nice. I see. Thank you, thank Sean you, thank Leonard you. bust his ass. He was nice. <laughs> he you was know, a bucket. Definitely remember his moves in the post. It was, it was really hard to guard him because he had every, he can turn right, you know, and he was big a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He, had he could shoot shot, that one. He could shoot. Yeah. So yeah, I remember him like, he, I remember having problems with him and uh, um, and then, you know, I, I guess early Mashburn, we came in, I said, I came in when Mashburn was like, oh, still playing. Mash, Monster still Mash playing. bust my ass too. Yeah, he, he was he, in that, in that killed block. Me. Killed me. So, like, he, so he was still good when y'all yeah, played against him? Yes. Yeah. 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 He yes. wasn't this athletic, yeah. but he can get a bucket yeah. anytime he wanted yeah. to. Definitely. He was, he's like a real small forward. Yeah. I guess almost like Melo maybe. I mean, they both, they shoot different. Yeah. Their form is different, but like they had, they can shoot and they could move. And, yeah. You know, I'm, mash had a little bounce. Yeah. 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 Bounce. yeah. That's crazy. I got in the 99. What year y'all came in? 2000. 2000, 2000, mm -hmm. right after. Right after. It's crazy. First person to bust my ass, who gave me fits, probably was Larry Johnson, man. Oh, LJ? Yeah, Grandma, like he had changed his game. You know, he from Dallas, you know, I'm looking forward to the matchup. Yeah. UNLV, war number four, all that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So childhood, idol, all that. But, you know, I'm, I'm eager, lock him yeah. down. You know, I think defense, you know, y'all know me, I'm trying to block it. Just take it, whatever yeah. I can get. And he pump faking me, fading away, doing up and under. I'm like, I'm a pogo stick out there. Trying yeah. to <laughs> Jumping at everything. Think that I got the, the pleasure of guarding the footwork mic. Yeah. <laughs> that wizard's mic, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I got a little lesson. Um, you know, I was eager that, that night as well, overzealous. Overzealous. Yeah. Trying to get something off on this. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Nah, like trying to stop him, man. You know, I want to just say, I locked Mike down. Yeah. It wasn't the Bulls, Mike, just to say I did it. Yeah, <laughs> right. He didn't go that way. He didn't go that way. Man. Paige Stoyakovich. Ooh. Paige, run off the A lot of people may not know him, but. Back door, oh, that coming cause off yeah, that, like. In the corner. I hate, in the corner. In the corner. In the corner. Yeah. And he can go either way. <laughs> he can either go back door or yeah. come off the, off the big man. And the game plan is you yeah. have to push up on him. If you don't, yeah. he's a sniper. He's going to make the three. Yeah. So when you do push up on him, they was a team that could pass the ball with Vladi Divac, Jason yeah. Wood. He would back door you every time, so it was like hard to guard him. Yeah. And he would kill me. He would he would at least have close to 30 damn near every time. Yeah, he, he got me a couple of games with this stuff. Me, everybody. I pressed <laughs> I pressed up on I just I just sold for the back door. I just turned and yeah. like, nah, you go. You rather give door, up the layup than the three. I'm gonna I'm try to get this bounce pass that body them. Sometimes they got it through there, sometimes yeah. they didn't. <laughs> That's one that we haven't had on you. Well, you know, know what? Yeah. Let me go back. Page bust my ass first game in the NBA, but Summer League, when I first got drafted, played the Summer League down in Long Beach, California. Hey, yeah. Pyramid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long Beach. see, see, we, we played, played that. that, that, got, too. Got, that yeah. was when I JoJo and year. Kiki Pullum was in the building. That was yeah. our nicknames. You got know what that's when I got invited to the NBA. Paul Pierce gave me that work Ooh. in the Summer League. Ooh. Because we was the same draft, so he, he definitely gave me that work. I know. He, he put was it on my head. in LA, too. Yeah, he put it on my head. I, I, that, he definitely did that, but it woke me up a little bit. It was like, all right, I got to really be ready to play with these boys. Man. I should have brought my list. <laughs> <laughs> the list is so long, <laughs> I don't know where to start. You know, I have a couple things there. First game, I remember, I was embarrassed, man. <laughs> Big Cat, Jamal Mushburn. Oh, Mashburn killed me too. Oh my God. <laughs> I cried, man, I swear to God. And it was slow, it was just. But he do like, <laughs> you know, oh. backing you up. You know, like you coming from the bench, you know, like you rookie, you want to do something. Yeah. And you know, like whole team has to change all the defense just for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know how embarrassing it is? You know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, we when gotta they help you out. You know what I'm saying? Like when they leave you by one-on-one, -on -one, guys kill you, you know, like. I can't guard, I can't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, man, I went inside, and man, I was crying. And like, rest in peace, Pete Carrill, you know, like, mm -hmm. coach. He said, like, boy, why are you crying? I said, like, coach, you know, like, the guy has killed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, you know, like. So like, there is 81 more games left. You know, like, you're gonna cry every after game? You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
So it was a big day, but also I hate to play you two guys, man. And uh, <laughs> fucking, I'm sorry. Can we curse or you not? You curse. I used to hate playing you guys with uh, the Clippers boys, man. You, <laughs> you two, and uh, Cor Magetti. <laughs> CM50. Oh my god! <laughs> with the headband, with his things on his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, you did that man. to make his you muscles look like, bigger than they actually were. I tried to guard you guys. You had this thing going on back in the day. You know, like the spin love. The spin love. Oh, my God. <laughs> to Lee, who was the first person to bust your ass? It was Curry, for sure. The Curry Curry was, because the, and they had that Bay Area little rivalry. Yeah, second minute. And, they, and, and when I first got to Lee, Curry, the, the Warriors wasn't really good. Like, they was kind of on the fence of being good. So, like, Curry was one was... That was one. That was a tough one. <laughs> but we had our battles. Like, we had our battles, but yeah, yeah, he got me. He got me a few times until I tried to slowly start figuring it out. Then my opportunity came more. Yeah, you so that was the it. thing. Like, he was getting me, and I couldn't get back at him because right. I was nah, like, he'd get me a few, and then I'm getting subbed out type thing. the highest level. Mine's probably AI for sure. Certainly. Um, yeah, I remember, uh, I remember my rookie year coach. Well, Marbury was guarding him, so Marbury started off getting cooked. And the coach was like, Nate, go in there and guard Iverson. Who was the coach? I was like, bro, Who's Larry coach? Brown, Larry coach, Brown, coach Larry, Larry Brown. Brown. Yeah, he used to call me the little shit, you know, little shit, get in there and go guard Iverson. He had 24 already in the quarter. <laughs> so 24 points in the quarter, I had to go in and guard Iverson. I'm like, all right. You know, as a kid, I'm like, yeah, first, you know, first. And being an NBA that's, rookie. That's warm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. I've studied him. Just been my favorite player forever. So I was like, all right, bro. We're not going for no crowd. No Jordan crossovers. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Ain't going for no crowd. He make a shot over the top. All right, cool. Whatever. But he was making them shots over the top the whole time. <laughs> so I just try to contest. And he he make it. Good defense. Better O. It was one of them type moments. But he ended up having like, what, 49, 47 that game. In the guard. And, and then I had the game winning shot. So I kind of got the last laugh. Oh, but, you yeah. over a yeah, over AI, too. You know Falling what I'm out that of kind of like, you know what I'm saying? That kind of like solidified me being in the league. You know, then afterwards I asked him for a sleeve. You know, he gave yeah. it to me. I got it at the crib. So, you know, it was well, pretty cool. He won the battle. You won the war. That's what it was. Yeah, it was <laughs> one of those. But it was like, it was fun to watch. It was like actually like being in the game, watching like your favorite player. I was like, I dreamed about this so he many times. He talked about it the entire time. The bro, whole, bro, yeah. We about to play AI. We about to play AI, bro. Big bro, I'm big bro. I'm hype. Bro. I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm hype. Bro. Big bro, like this AI though, big bro. I'm like, I said, I'm going to go at him too. <laughs> like, office, like, yo, I'll go back. Y'all got back door, got a little dunk, you know. But I just I just wanted, you know, I, I wanted him to respect me as a player, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I loved his game. I loved him as a, you know, individual who he was and what he paved, the, how he paved the way for me. So Big Eddie. Shaq, man. Ooh, Ooh Shaq, the bro. Like, we had Shaq when he was in um, LA, him and Kobe, bro. In the midst of the, uh, the three P. What? Yeah. What? And I remember he did some move, bro. It felt like I was just in a car accident, bro. I was just, <laughs> I, I, I was just alone for the ride, bro. I was just alone for the ride, bro. It was it was at the UC, bro, and my Time parents out. came. Let us preface this, dude. Yeah, You're bro. 6'11", 300 pounds on, yourself, on, though. Bro. Like, you feel me? He just said he felt like he was in an accident. I was in an accident, bro. And that was, that was the biggest human I ever seen. <laughs> Ever, bro. Ever, bro. And this one, he was moving. He was Ooh, in his yeah. shit. So, yeah. bro, he, he hit me with one move, bro. Like, hit me all in my face and shit. And then after that, he was like, man, my bad. You okay? I'm like, damn, that's cool. He was like, yeah, I met your parents before the game. It's in the game. He told me, like, I met your parents before the game. Man, I, I, I like you. I used to watch your show in high school. I'm going to chill. And, and then after that, it was cool. He was like, but if Brad Miller come out here, I'm going I'm to kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, bro. First person to bust your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you know what's funny, man? Remember Terrell Brand? Yes. Man, listen, he well, was a Minnesota six, Tim Wolf yes, or was Cavalier. Was he, was, he was in Minnesota at the time. Yeah. So he's with he was with KG. KG, I remember that. I'm thinking I'm bigger than him. I'm longer. I'm I got this guy. Yeah. Man, when I tell you he's I cried after the game. I literally <laughs> cried. I thought I was gonna get cut. Yeah. I swear to God, I thought I was gonna get cut. Because it was the first time in my Life where I just I couldn't figure if the game was going so fast I couldn't figure nothing out mentally he was just on uh, he was coming off pick and rolls I'm a I'm a he, millisecond he, he late and he was pulling too. up and Scotty and them was just looking at me like keep playing <laughs> I'm like keep playing y'all gonna cut me <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what was going on man but yeah so it was him and um. Just Nick Van Nuxo, I could. He was just so herky jerky. Shifty yeah, with it. Yeah, he was left shift, hand. You cut one off, him. he going to the other side, and yeah. his left hand, he can Big, he palm the ball. Palm the ball. <laughs> like it was incredible to Nick me. Nick to quit. Uh, you know, Nick and and then Nick, 
he wasn't conservative. Like yeah. he'll just get wild on you. Yeah. And if he get wild, he'll shoot from thirty feet out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And the coach like, pulled. get up on him. Like, you want me to get up on him? He'll go past me. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't get up on him, he's gonna shoot in my yeah, face. That I don't know what you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I was in trouble for a minute. How was it like coming up?